Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me today in today's broadcast. Friends, I want to discuss with you that there is a great need to shut yourselves in your home and be on your face before God. I pray that many of you do that regularly already. For those of you who are truly uh, God-fearing people, people who know that everything in this life is dispensed by God's hands of mercy and grace, and he's the one that we must go to for everything. The Lord is asking all of his children to seek him in their prayer closets. He asked me to put this message forth today. And I want to say, close the door when you go in there to pray so there's no distractions. And don't bring your cell phone. And seek the Lord for those hidden things that may not be, uh, that you may not be aware of hiding in your heart or in your life. Now, one person may be challenged by being quick to anger. Another might be challenged by constantly arguing with your loved ones. And it's always their fault, you think. But in fact, if you were to spend some quiet time with God, reflecting and in prayer, uh, you might find out that you're the one instigating the arguing or you're the contributor. So the Lord may say to you, bite your tongue, stop arguing. Be slow to speak. Be quick to listen. Do not get angry. Don't take the bait. Look at your own spiritual fruit. You have a spiritual fruit basket. And what is in it? Is there rotten fruit in there? Or do you have the fruit of the Spirit as outlined by uh, Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23? I encourage you to memorize those. Friends, arguing or anger does not bring forth the righteousness of our Messiah. Now, another topic that I want to discuss briefly is the need for the bride of Christ to pray for the Muslims here in the USA. They're going to be coming here uh, in large numbers. They will be ushered here as the USA is weakening, as it's collapsing. And there have been many closed door deals being made to make this country fit for a large Muslim incursion. And one day it will actually, the USA will unite with other Arab nations. I have received that from the Lord. And that is what the Lord has shown me in many dreams. He has spoken it to me and other messengers who are out there. Uh, they will rise up in the land. And we as God-fearing people, we need to go to the scriptures and we need to study more of what is expected of us. And I want to send this challenge out there to anyone who has uh, eyes to see and ears to hear what the spirit of the living God is saying to the church right now. Would someone like to organize prayer groups to pray for the Muslims here? Um, I like to pray on Monday. Monday starts with a, a letter M. Pray for the Muslims on Monday for them to know the love of Jesus. You can pray any day, but a way to incorporate it into your everyday life. For, you know, things will happen when the people of God get sincere about praying and loving and pressing into the Lord in prayer and submitting to him your time to be an intercessor. You see, friends, Christians, they can talk a good talk. They can quote scripture. They can be up to date on prophecy. They're subscribed to all the right YouTube channels. But will they love their neighbors? And will they get down on their faces before God and cry out for those who do not have the hope of heaven? Are you willing to fast and pray at least one day a week or more as you're led by the Lord for these immigrants who are here and the millions who are coming? Will you be one of God's mighty prayer warriors? See, churches are going to be closing more and more in the days to come. And you thought just the churches were closing a lot post-COVID. But many people will abandon the faith, friends. And mosques are going to be erected everywhere. And they will build hospitals and mosques all over the USA. Just like the cookie cutter uh, building program of McDonald's and Walmarts. You see those every eight miles or so across the land. And they have a mandate by Allah to do this, to dominate the world. It's called a caliphate. And 
you have a mandate by Jesus Christ to roll up your sleeves and to pray for them and pray for strength and courage for yourself and your families because we're going to need it, friends. Now, I want to cover one story uh, that's been floating all over the news today. And I believe that AI is just pounding out these articles and no one can truly keep up with disseminating the news unless you're a robot or a computer. But I want to say this is a very important headline. China says it's ready to broker peace talks between Israel and Palestine. It's pushing for a resumption of peace talks after it was successful with Iran and Saudi Arabia. See, the Chinese foreign minister spoke separately to top Israeli and Palestinian diplomats. Speaking to Israeli foreign minister was Eli Cohen. Uh, China's uh, Quinn Gang encouraged steps to resume peace talks. And he said that China is ready to provide convenience for this. China is pushing for peace talks on the basis of implementing the two-state solution. Now, earlier this month, Israeli raid, uh, they went up on the Alaska mosque, and that triggered increased violence right there. And China is aiming to position itself as a regional mediator. See, this is a very important position that the USA has held for decades. And as the USA is sinking into this quagmire because of her sin, the Lord is rising up China. So remember in March of this year, Beijing brokered restored ties between two arch enemies, Iran and Saudi Arabia. Who would have thought? And Beijing also tried to assist with a peace plan for Ukraine back in February. Xi Jinping met with Putin in Moscow. Do you remember that? That was historic. Now they are proclaiming they are best buddies. Uh, They are brothers. So friends, let's see where all of this will lead. And I pray that it will lead us to more intensified time in our prayer closets. Uh, You know, Israel is bound to be divided very soon. It may happen any day. The dragon is very busy, friends. Well, we love you. Seho and I, we love you. Keep us in your prayers. We can always use it. Pray for all of the servants of the Lord who are out there. I really want to encourage you to pray for the pastors who stand before the congregations at the pulpit each week. Pray for them, friends. I'm sure that they would be very appreciative as uh, the Lord's trying to put on their heart the message for the flock. And uh, I thank you for joining us today. We'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.